क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस टेन वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स जीरो सो आधे दम होना हो सो आई हैव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टेन वाई इक्वल्स ट्वेल्व सो टू ए बी सो इट इस टू टाइम्स एक्स टाइम्स व्हाट इस लेफ्ट फोर हियर इट्स टू ए बी सो इट्स टू टाइम्स वाई टाइम्स व्हाट इस लेफ्ट फाइव सो हाउ डू आई रीडाइट दिस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो इट इस फोर स्क्वायर ओके स्क्वायर बना मारने दरा दिंगे दिस इज जस्ट टू ए बी बट आई वांट ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो इट्स बी स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टेन वाई प्लस फाइव स्क्वायर इक्वल्स ट्वेल्व प्लस सिंस यू एडेड फोर स्क्वायर एंड फाइव स्क्वायर टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई आल्सो एडेड टू द राइट हैंड साइड फोर स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस फोर द होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई प्लस फाइव द होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स so what is this x minus four the whole square plus y minus of minus five the whole square equals three so fifty three this is my r square so here this is of the form h this is k and this is r square so my r square is fifty three my r is root of fifty three so this is my radius and what is my center h comma k is four comma Minus five. Okay. Question number nine. Two x square plus two y square minus x equals zero. So if we consolidate, for now I have okay. I'll first divide the equation by two. I need my coefficients of x square and y square to be one. So when I divide the whole equation by two, I'm left with x square plus y square minus x by two equals zero. If x terms along, I'm not going to do that. Have x square minus x by two plus y square equals zero. So if there be the answers of the form two a b, so it is two times a times. What will be my b? What am I left with? I'll be left with one by four. Do you see why? X by two. I need to get two in the denominator. Two into one by four. I can cancel two and four. So I'll be left with x by two. So my b is one by four. So what do I have? X square. Minus x by two plus one by four the whole square b square plus y square plus I have zero so it will be zero equals zero plus I've added a one by four the whole square term so I add it to the other side also so one by four the whole square so what do I have x minus one by four because it's a minus two ab x minus one by four the whole square plus y minus zero the whole square Equals one by four square is one by sixteen. I can also leave it as one by four the whole square because it's r square, right? So it's one by four the whole square. So here this is my h, this is my k, and this is my r square. So my h comma k is one by four comma zero, and my r is one by. Okay, that's my radius. Question number ten. Find the equation of the circle passing through the points four comma one and six comma five, and whose center is on the line four x plus y equals sixteen. So basically, what is your equation? X minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square. What are they saying? These two points lie on the circle, which means when I substitute four comma one to the equation, it should satisfy the equation. So instead of x and y, I'll put four and one. So I have four minus h the whole square plus one minus k the whole square equals r square. This is equation one. When I substitute four and one, when I substitute six and five, I'll have six minus h the whole square plus five minus k the whole square equals r square. On comparing one and two, what do you see? R square and R square are equal, so I'm equating the left hand side. So I'll have, I'll open this bracket. I have 16 plus h square minus 8h plus 1 plus k square minus 2k equals. Now this equation, I have 6 square, 36 plus h square minus 12h. This it will become 25 plus k square. Minus 
10k. Right? So what do you see? H square and H square terms will go off. K square and K square will get cancelled. What am I left with? Minus 8H minus 2K. When I bring the H and the K terms to the left, I'll be left with plus 12H plus 10K equals 36 plus 25. Minus 16 minus 1. So I have minus 8h, 12h, 4h plus 8k, minus 2k plus 10k equals 36 minus 16 is 20, 25 minus 1 is 24, 20 plus 24, 44. When I divide the whole equation by 4, I am left with h plus 2k equals 11. This is my equation 3. So now I have one equation with two unknowns. So I need another equation with two unknowns to solve for h and k. What have they given? The center lies on 4x plus y equals 16. So the center h comma k lies on 4x plus y equals 16. So what does my equation become? 4h plus k equals 16. So this is my equation 4. So instead of dividing the whole equation by 4, I will just use this equation itself because I see I have a 4h here. Okay. So let this be my equation 3. You can omit this step, but it's okay. So now I have 4h plus 8k equals 44. 4h plus k equals 16. So what do I have when I subtract? This term goes off. 8k minus k is 7k equals. When I subtract this, I'm left with 28. So k equals 4. When I substitute k equals 4 in one of the equations, I use this one. Okay. This is the simplest equation. So I have h plus 2 times k equals 11. h equals 11 minus 8, which is 3. So I've got what my center is h comma k. Now I need to find what my radius is. I'll substitute in one of these equations. I'll take the first equation because I see small numbers. So I have 4 minus h which is 3 the whole square plus 1 minus k 4 the whole square equals r square. So I have 1 square plus minus 3 the whole square which is 9 equals r square. So r square equals 10 r equals root 10. So this is my center. My center is h comma k which is 3 comma 4 and my radius is root 10. So what does my equation become? h minus 3 the whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square equals r square which is 10. Okay. So this is my. So when I open this what do I get? x square plus y square plus 9 plus 16 minus 6x minus 8y equals 10. So I have x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y. 9 plus 16 is 25. So plus 25 minus 10 equals 0. So what is my final equation? x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 15 equals 0. So this is my final equation to the circle. Okay.